My name is Tiffany at with Service Star Realty, and today I'm going to talk to you about the eviction process. Now here in Arizona, we're actually very lucky because this process can only take us 26 days. In other states, it can take even more than three months. Now I do say can take 26 days because for an order for this to happen, you have to have quite a few things hit certain deadlines. Now that being said, it's very important to know the court processes as well as really what's going to happen. Step number one, we create what is called a five day notice to pay or quit. Now, even though this notice is five days, we also need to account for five mailing days. So the tenant gets five mailing days plus five days in order to cure this notice. What curing this notice means is that they need to pay all of the fees in full. If the tenant fails to do this, we send this over to our lawyer. In that file is including this notice as well as their lease and current lender with all their fees. After the lawyer has received this file, they will file for a date in court that this file will be presented in front of a judge. Now our lawyer works very fast and this can possibly take even as little as a few days to get a court date. Some lawyers may take a little bit longer and you really don't want that. Step number three, the court date. If the tenant has not paid in full at court or doesn't show up, the judge will automatically rule in our favor. We then receive what is called a forcible detainer entry. This allows us to take back the possession of the property. Step number four, we go back to the courthouse and we file for what's called a writ of restitution. This writ actually gets the constable working on our side. The constable can take up to seven days, but in most cases it's much sooner, to call us and schedule a time when we can perform a lockout. We then must go out there with our locksmith and the constable to physically lock the tenant out of the property. If the tenant is still in the property and leaves behind possessions, we do have to allow them 14 days in order to regain their property. If the property left behind is worth less than what it would cost to store, we do not have to hold these items, but we can dispose of them right away. So there's a couple things that you do need to know. Number one, in the event that you wanna file this notice a little bit early, you actually do not have to wait for the grace period to expire. You can do this the day after the tenant's rent is due. Number two, if the tenant does leave their possessions in the property, it is very important that you store those items for the next 14 days and allow them to regain their possessions. This is it in a nutshell. If you would like any help, please give us a call and we will be happy to help you.